Hello, in this episode, we are going to learn poetry with interactive method. So first of all, thank you for taking time to watch and a big shout out to my current subscriber and all my future one. So let's get into today's business. So in the last video, we have learned the poetry installation, how to get started with new projects and publish them in PyPy platform. So if you haven't seen that video, I highly suggest to watch that video before we continue here. So in this video, we learn some of the advanced stuff and understand how to initiate a poetry and build a virtual system for an existing projects. So I'll open the VS code here. First of all, we need to install the poetry. It's really an easy step and I have covered those steps in the part one video. Now what we're going to do here is we'll create a new project. Let's call it as poetry project. Let's say I already have the projects created where all my source codes are located, but we want to make use of poetry to build the virtual environment and add dependencies for that project. So for that, I'll type poetry init command to initialize the poetry. Then it'll open the interactive mode. We'll walk you through the series of questions to set up your projects. So let's start by specifying the project name. By default, it uses the directory name as the project name, but you can change it if it needed. Then press enter. Next, you will be prompted to specify the version of this project. Since poetry uses semantic versioning, it default to the version 0.1.0 using versioning is especially helpful when your python packages undergo frequent changes ensuring that they are tracked under version control for now i'll keep the default version settings moving on you will be asked to provide the short description of this projects then let's set the author of this projects if your system is configured with git poetry can fetch your name and the email address from the git config however you can override the settings if necessary Additionally, you will have the option to specify a license for these projects. So popular choice for open source projects include MIT and Apache 2 license. Let's go with MIT here and just press enter. Next poetry will automatically pick the compatible Python version based on your current Python installation. In my case, it is Python 3.10. This means that project will be compatible with Python version from 3.10 up to 4.0. In other words, it support any version equal to or greater than 3.10 but below 4.0 you can specify something like greater than or equal to python 3.8 so once you complete these steps you will be prompted to define your main dependencies in interactive mode so go ahead and say yes this gives an opportunity to search the specific python package and install them into our projects we can choose the package from the sources like pypy or a github so for this discussion let's focus on pypy so in our case, I want to install a Python SDK for the Cisco SD-BAN platform. To do this, we'll visit PyPy site to find the package details. So on the PyPy site, so we can explore the SDK use case. It's mainly used for transferring the configuration between the vManagers, backing up and restore the configurations, visualizing the operational data and many more. So few things to understand over here. If we click on the release history, we can see the different release with the latest one on the top if you scroll down a bit under the meta sections we find a minimum required python version for the package it requires python 3.8 and above so for the main dependencies we'll set up a minimum release of 1.2.0 now let's go back to the shell and type cisco sd1 as the package name and poetry will search for the matching package it find around 20 results with the best matches at the top Select the package index 0 as it matches our requirement. Next, it asks if you have a version constraint. If you want specific versions rather than latest, you can enter it here. Let's go with the version 1.20. Now, Poetry asks if you want to add another package. If not, leave it blank and proceed. So, next, we'll add a request library for the API calls. So, going back to PyPy and checking the release history, we find that minimum Python version required for this library. So I'll pick version 2.26 for our main dependencies. So in the poetry interactive shell, we'll type request, then press zero for the match, then use the caret symbol followed by the version 2.26. This will keep the minimum compatible version for this project set to 2.26. I hope you get the logic. Now the poetry will prompt if you want to update the test dependencies, go ahead and type yes. Again, we'll add Cisco SD1 package. For the version, we'll type an asterisk symbol which indicates a wildcard character. However, 
it is not recommended it can lead to a compatibility or stability issue but i just want to show you what are the different methods you can select the version next we'll add the request library to the text package we'll go with the latest versions so if you check on the pipe by the latest version of request library is 2.31.0 this is what the poetry also finds now all the necessary details are created for the pyproject.toml file everything looks good so let's go ahead and confirm it next let's activate the virtual environment by typing the command poetry shell this will create a directory called .vnv within our project folder setting up an isolated environment we can confirm this by running the poetry env info here you can see that we are running python version 3.10 and the python executable path is located within the project directory moving on let's proceed to the next step installing all the packages we have defined the terminal file we can install these packages into the virtual environment by executing the command poetry install as you can notice it's now downloading and installing all the dependencies we have defined including the sub dependencies associated with each package so finally after this process a file called poetry lock is generated so this file containing comprehensive information about the locked versions so in essence we have gone through the poetry.toml file set up the virtual environment now we have the lock file generated and this component forms the core python projects along with the source code now let's explore the few essential commands first off there is a poetry lock hyphen hyphen check this command verify that poetry lock file is consistent with pyproject.toml file so in our case lock file is indeed consistent with the toml file moving on to the poetry check so this command validate the structure of pyproject.toml file and provide a detailed report if any errors are present so of course if everything is fine you will get an all set confirmation indicating that our toml file is in good shape so if you are wondering how to distinguish between the development and main dependencies you can certainly find the information in the log file however there are easier way to find it you can type poetry show hyphen only dev it will show you all the development dependencies along with their versions for instance you will find our selected version 1.20 for st1 dependencies listed over here similarly if you want to view only the main dependencies you can run poetry show without dub there are many other commands that complement this but i have found this is quite effective for obtaining the project details if you have any other poetry command that you use regularly please feel free to share them in the comment section below okay now we have created the project toml file you might be wondering if we can add dependencies later on yes we can do this using poetry add command which we have explored in our previous video so to demonstrate this let's add a pytest library into our development environments we will install the latest version using add the right symbol you can see that it is downloading and updating the package in the poetry log file now we can look at the development dependencies we can confirm that pytest package has been successfully loaded we can also verify this on the project toml file now let's discuss the library called click used to enhance the command line interface so we'll add this library to our main dependencies we'll be using the caret symbol we'll install the latest release within the main versions for example any release within a.x will be considered as you can see here version 8.1.6 of the click library is installed we can cross reference with the latest available version on the pypy which is 8.1.6 so this complete the process of creating project from the scratch using the poetry interactive method initializing the virtual environment and installing the necessary package in a sense i have covered all the essential command you can use while working with poetry before we wrap up i hope you enjoyed this content if you did please consider hit the like button and your support means a lot thank you for watching i will be back with another video soon